Hey guys, what's up? This is Adam for FXD79.com. Today I've got my first uh, Visual Basic t uh, tutorial for you guys. Um, this is a really cool program for creating um, really easy um, Windows applications um, with only a little bit of knowledge of coding. And um, you can download this for free, which is really cool about what this software. Um, I think Visual Basic 2008 on Microsoft's website um, is a free trial, but 2005, which is the version that I'm using, and I think it's the best, um, is free. And I'll provide a link in the underbar for you guys um, to download it, and you can follow along if you want. Or if you already have a version, just uh, open it up, start up a new Windows user form, and we'll be ready to go. Today I'm going to be showing you guys just a really simple tutorial, as I'm still learning this program too, but I wanted to share with you guys some stuff that I've learned. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to make a password program. Um, the password protects whatever you want. And um, so I guess let's just go ahead and get started. Um, open up your toolbox over here. And you're going to want a, to bring out a button and also a text box. So just like that. Um, now we're going to click on the form. And down here in text, we're going to change it to password and that'll update right there now what we're gonna do is stretch this out and we're gonna move the button down below it just kinda move the window a little bit like that and click on the button change it to enter alright so that's all for the design um, unless you want to make it a little bit more fancy if you want um, but go ahead and double click on the button That'll bring up the coding. Now, what we're going to type in, and by the way, this is all in the underbar, so um, yeah. Um, basically, just type in if and then enter. Um, or if text box one, oops, one dot text equals, um, let's say, hello world. then and it will automatically insert that for you um, and then say um, dialog box one dot visible equals true all right and we're going to type in uh, else dialog box two dot visible equals true. Okay, so basically what this is doing is um, if the text box that right here, if this text box, the text that's in it equals hello world, so that's your password, um, if it equals that then this dialog box will come up. If it doesn't else, then dialog two will pop up. Now to make those pop up we have to design them. So we're going to go to project, add windows form, hit dialog and leave it dialog one and we're just going to delete this and bring in another button and then we'll just add a label and we're going to change the label to uh, your password is correct uh, right there and we can also go into the size right here and change it to like 20 just so it's a little bit bigger and then we'll shrink it down a little bit like that make the button a little bit bigger and we'll make that say just okay we'll change it to All right, so that's dialog one. Now let's build dialog two. So just build another form. Leave it form. Oops, sorry. Uh, dialog box. Yeah, dialog two. And then we'll just make another label. Delete this and add a button. And we'll just make this fail and change the size to oops, uh, 20. We'll actually make it a little bit bigger because it's a shorter word. 
Alright, we'll just center that. And then put the button under it. Make it around the same size. It doesn't really have to be that perfect. Alright. And then we'll change this to... Try again. And we'll change the box to... Wrong. Alright, so now double click on the try again button. And we're going to type me dot visible equals false. So that'll minimize the window. Or not really minimize it, but yeah. Um, and then we'll go back to dialog one and do the same thing. But this time we just want to close the program, so we'll also type in uh, form one dot visible equals false. So it closes all the windows that will be open if you had gotten it that right. And then we'll double click on the enter button again and those should update. There we go. Alright. So it should be dialog. I spelled it wrong. Or uh, remembered it wrong. Alright, so they update. They don't have the little errors in them again. I'll bring this down. And uh, that's pretty much your form. Let's go ahead and debug it. Bring out this little window. Type in hello world. And we get the password correct. Hit that, they both go away. Good. Um, but if we enter a wrong password or anything else, it'll say that. And it will let you try again. And you can change that so it just closes it or locks you out or whatever. But what's also awesome is you can change the actual capitalization uh, specifications that you want. So, for instance, hello world in caps, as I entered it in lowercase, will not work. So then you could have uh, everything correct except for the last D. It is capitalized. It won't let you do anything unless it's perfect. So, that's awesome. It gives you a lot of control over everything. But that's just a basic tutorial. And uh, I'll do some new uh, Visual Basic tutorials as well as some Sony Vegas tutorials I've got coming soon. Uh, it's almost summer, so I hope you guys are looking forward to that. And I will see you guys soon. Peace.